So again, as mentioned earlier, uh, Resinia, yun yung nag-cost ng bubonic plague, no? Pero daladala sila ng mga rats, kaya kumalat yung disease. Daladala sila ng mga rats from cities to cities. So this is what caused the bubonic plague or the Black Death. I mean, millions, imagine 50 million people died. So you can have uh, other uh, species that can cause diarrhea, uh, but you concentrate on the genus name. Okay, Vibria. So again, it inhabits seawater. It may produce toxin that can cause uh, super secretion of water and electrolytes in the gastrointestinal tract. And some species may cause serious wound infection. So may mga ano, seafood na pag nasira siya, maraming may toxin na super, ano, super lala yung, ano, yung effects sa food poisoning. No? So pag may mga seafood na nasira na, uh, yun, mataas na yung concentration ng toxins na nagawa ng bacteria. So it's important to... Uh, Make sure your food is, if you're going to eat, uh, for example, yung galing sa restaurant, lagay nyo agad sa ref. Otherwise, lalo na yung mga seafood na ano, hindi lang naman seafood, no? any food na ano, na merong, na, na contaminated with bacteria, uh, that can cause the, that can cause food poisoning. Delicado talaga. Okay, Delta proteobacteria. So, yung, this is a small class of gram-negative proteobacteria. So, you have uh, sulfate-reducing bacteria or SRB. So, they use sulfate as the final electron acceptor in the electron transport chain. So, gumagamit ng sulfate. So you have a uh, delovibrio, so considered a predatory bacterium. Delovibrio, so this invades the cell of other gram-negative bacteria. So it will position itself in the periplasm, so nasagit na siya ng inner membrane at saka cell wall. And it will feed on the host cell's proteins and polysaccharides. So, mixobacteria, it lives in the soil. It scavenges uh, inorganic compounds. So, they can form uh, multicellular macroscopic fruiting bodies. So, they also form metabolically inactive mixospores. So, yeah, uh, this is the fruiting body. And you form sporangium containing uh, mixospores. So, ito yung mga uh, genus under that uh, uh, class. So, Delovibrio, it, uh, it is motile. So, it's parasitic and infects other bacteria. So, it's an obligate um, aerobe. Another uh, genus, the, the Sulfobrio. So, this reduces sulfur. It can be used for removal of toxic and radioactive waste. So, ginagamit yung ibang organisms for this purpose, for cleaning up toxic waste. You have also a mix of bacterium. So, this lives in soil. It can move by gliding and used as a model organism for studies of intercellular communication. Hello? Rinig ba ako, guys? May questions ba? Rinig ba ako? Mic test? Yes po, yes, po sir. Yes po, sir. Yes po. Okay. 
Epsilon proteobacteria, the smallest class of uh, proteobacteria. So here you have uh, micro aerophilic. So ibig sabihin konti lang kailangan yung oxygen. You have here uh, Campylobacter. So this is a human pathogen that causes food po poisoning. So see, uh, jeju jejuni is common in contaminated poultry products. Helicobacter. So this is uh, this contains helical flagellated bacterium, H. pylori. So actually, it's part of the normal flora. So it's part of the stomach's uh, microbiota. However, it is also the common cause of chronic gastritis and ulcers of the stomach and duodenum. Okay, so that's uh, helicobacter that can lead to ulcers and stomach uh, cancer. So, Campylobacter, it uh, infects chicken. So, pag undercooked meat, no? Huwag yung maki mag-sushi. Meron sa video, uh, sa YouTube na nag-aano ng chicken na hindi luto. <laughs> so, yan. Yan yung kalaban mo. It causes severe enteritis. So, iluto nyo mabuti ang meat nyo, ha? Wag nyong, wag, yung, wag nyong gawing sushi. Hel helicobacter, so this can damage the inner lining of the stomach. Aba, bakit ito may sinama? So it causes chronic gastritis, peptic ulcers. Teka lang, tanggalin ko nga. Sinama tong caption. Okay, peptic ulcers and stomach cancers. Let's move on. Okay, gram negative, non prop. Uh, so all of these are uh, gram negative, no? So, pero meron ka pa rin gram-negative na non-proteobacteria. So, that includes chlamydia and spirochetes. You have also CFB. So, cytophaga, fusobacterium, and bacteroids. And you have also planktomycetes. So, again, yung chlamydia it's an std it can uh, it can uh, enter to host cells mentioned uh, we already mentioned that you have also spirochetes uh, you observe that in a dark field fluorescent microscope they are difficult or even impossible to culture so highly uh, motile so they're able to move around so they use their actual filament to propel, propel themselves. So it wraps around the cells and runs inside the uh, cell body of a sp spirochete in the periplastic space between the outer membrane and the plasma membrane. Okay? So, uh, ma mabilis yung movement nito. Okay, so that's the shape of spirochetes. So this includes uh, human pathogens, trepon treponema, pallidium, pallidium. So this is uh, the agent, causative agent of syphilis. You have also uh, Borrelia. You can have uh, B. Burgdor Burgdorferi, Ferry, so this uh, this causes Lyme disease. 
So this is transmitted by ticks. So CFB group, uh, they're classified together because they share similar similarities in the sequence of nucleotides in their DNA. So these are rod-shaped bacteria. They live in uh, environments with uh, less air. And they are avid fermenters. So under CFB, you have uh, cytophaga. So they're mobile, uh, they're motile aquatic uh, bacteria that glide. So mabilis lang gumalaw. Fusa bacteria, they inhabit the human mouth. They may cause severe infectious diseases. And then under the CFB group, you have bacterio bacteroides. So you have lots of them in the human large intestine. So they are mostly mutualistic. They benefit from the nutrients found in the gut. And they benefit from them they prevent pathogens from colonizing the large intestine. Okay, so only a few are pathogenic. So up to thirty percent are made up of made up, make up our uh, large intestines. Thirty percent yan ng population ng normal flora sa intestines. Okay, uh, planktomycetes, these are found in aquatic uh, environment inhabiting freshwater, saltwater, and brackish water. So they produce by budding. So one maternal cell splits into two equal daughter cells in the process of binary fission. Okay? Yung nag -ano siya, hindi siya yung normal na binary uh, yung usual na nag-split apart, pwede, pwede siyang, ano eh, um, pwede mag-form yung isang cell partly, no? May, may, unlike na pag binary fission, uh, equal lang yung distribution ng uh, pag-split, no? Pag budding, pwede mas konti yung uh, material na nandun. So mother cells form a bud that detaches from the mother cell and lives as an independent cell. So, ayun, to differentiate from binary fission, okay? So, may small part ng cell na mag-form, eventually it will form into a developed cell. Unlike in binary fission, yung isang malaking cell divided equally into two parts. So pag sinabi mong sessile, it's not moving. no Sessile uh, planktomycetes have a hold fast that allows them to adhere to surfaces in aquatic environment. So di siya gumagalaw. So you have also... Uh, some species that are swarmers, so they are moving and they lack hold fast. So, dun sa left picture, yun yung example ng mga sessile na planktomycetes. And on the right is an example of a swarmer or uh, able to move around. So, it's motile. Okay, so... To summarize, yung chlamydia, so it can cause chlamydia, trachoma, and pneumonia. So obligatory intracellular bacteria, as explained, your life cycle, pupasok siya sa loob ng epithelial cell. Bacteroides, so these are uh, the obligate anaerobic bacteria. They're abundant in the human intestine. So, usually mutualistic. Cytophaga. So, these are motile by gliding and live in soil or water. They decompose cellulose and may cause, cause disease in fish. Fusobacterium. So, you have anaerobic 
It can form biofilms. Some species cause disease in humans like ulcers or periodontilis. Leptospira, so familiar name, no? Pag flood, pag marami, pag mga, usually yung rats, tapos umiihi siya ng ganito, no? So, pwede siyang, uh, yung bacteria mabubuhay sa rodents. So, it's aerobic, abundant in shallow water uh, reservoirs. So, an example nga, yung pag flood waters, pag still waters yan, lalakad ka sa flood, pwede yung pumasok yung bacteria through your ano mga sugat-sugat no kaya delikado maglakad sa flood especially yung ano yung tumagal na na flood siguro okay lang yung fresh na yung kababaha lang nagkaroon ng biglang buhos na ulan okay lang yan pwede naman yan pero kung stagnant na ilang days na may flood yan na yung delikado kasi yung fresh na buhos na ulan malinis pa yan eh pero yung pagtumagal na yun na yung delikado. So, yun leptospira. So this aerobic abundant in shallow water uh, re reservoirs. So it, it infects rodents and domestic animals can be transmitted to humans by infected animals animal urine and may cause severe disease. So yun nga, ito yung pag once magka leptospirosis ka mahirap to i ano gamutin okay so the best way is uh, prevention so flood waters at saka yung ano um kahit yung mga canned goods mo no linisin niyo bago mo niyo buksan ng can opener importante yung punasan yung mga mga delata niyo bago niyo buksan Okay, Borrelia. So these uh, these are the ones that cause uh, Lyme disease and can cause uh, relapsing fever. Treponema. So they are motile and do not grow in culture. So ito yung mga different uh, species niya. Okay, let's talk about uh, phototrophic bacteria. So they use the sunlight to produce energy. So this is a large and diverse group uh, that use solar energy as their primary source of energy to create ATP. Okay, some can produce oxygen. This is uh, oxygenic photosynthesis. Others do not produce oxygen. So let's look at them. So one large group includes uh, purple or green bacteria. So ito yung mga first na Ma, mga organisms na nag-help create ng oxygen environment sa Earth. So you have uh, bacterial chlorophylls. So they are similar to chlorophylls in plant, pero uh, ano lang, hindi ganun ka, hindi, hindi the same, pero similar, similar lang. Carotenoids. So they have varying amounts of red or orange pigment molecules. So it's classified into sulfur bacteria and non-sulfur bacteria. Okay, so yeah, purple and green uh, sulfur bacteria, they have uh, bacterial chlorophylls to perform uh, photosynthesis. For purple sulfur, uh, sulfur bacteria, They oxidize uh, hydrogen sulfide into elemental sulfur and sulfuric acid. They use carbon dioxide as their only source of carbon. So that includes uh, chromatium. You have also green sulfur bacteria. You use uh, sulfide for oxidation and produce large amount of green bacterial chlorophyll. So that includes chlorobium. Purple non-sulfur bacteria, so it uses hydrogen rather than hydrogen sulfide for oxidation. These are facultative uh, anaerobes, so they can trap nitrogen into compounds, so do, it can be able to fix nitrogen. So this includes rhodospirillum. 
You have also green non-sulfur bacteria. So they are si similar to green sulfur bacteria, but what they have are uh, instead of sulfides, you have uh, other substrates for oxidation. So without oxygen, uh, they use uh, organic sulfides or molecular hydrogens as electron donors. So you, it includes chloroflexus. Okay, uh, next is cyanobacteria. These are the first species nga na nagproduce ng oxygen to make the atmosphere that we have now. No, So large colonies of cyanobacteria. Actually, yung mga unang, if we can divide the history of the planet into 24 hours, most of it is uh, no, hindi hindi mga dinosaurs yung mga majority na nabuhay sa lifespan ng Earth. Actually, it is uh, bacteria. No? So, ito yung mga unang bacteria na nag-make uh, ng oxygen to make uh, our atmosphere 30% oxygen around yeah, around the twenty nine percent oxygen. So species of this group performs oxygen oxygenic photosynthesis using chlorophyll A. So you you produce a large amount of gaseous oxygen. So it can uh, thrive in all habitats. So even freshwater, even marine. So they can live also in soil and even in rocks. They can also trap uh, uh, trap the nitrogen. So you can convert the oxygen in air, convert that to uh, nutrients that other bacteria and plants can use. So usually nitrites and nitrates. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. So blue green bacteria, cyanobacteria. So remember that one of the first uh, organisms to produce oxygen for the Earth's atmosphere. So chlorophyll and blue green sulfur bacteria, chlorophyxy, green non sulfur bacteria, uh, alpha proteobacteria. You have, ah, sorry, ito, ito pala yun ang mga. Ibang phylum. So, it's under proteobacteria. May mga, may mga phototrophic bacteria ka sa proteobacteria. This includes rhodospirillum, rhodocyclus, uh, and ro chromatium. Okay. Kaya pa ba? <clears throat> okay, I'll just end it here. Um yun the rest of the lectures you upload ko na lang on okay.